Hey guys, welcome back, and this one is going to be another movie review for you guys, and this one is going to be on a film that I actually saw pretty recently for the first time ever. I'd never seen it before. I had heard of it growing up, but I never got around watching it until recently, and that is uh, Kindergarten Cop, which is with Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, released in 1990, uh, directed by the late Ivan Reitman, rest in peace. He was a great director. Um, and this movie is basically about this cop named John Kimball, uh, who is uh, an undercover cop who uh, poses as a kindergarten teacher in order to uh, basically take down a dangerous criminal who so happens to be involved with a teacher who works at the school. And that's basically the premise of the movie. And it's a very good movie. I bought this a couple of years ago. I never got around watching it until recently. Um, no particular reason. I mean, I'm a big Arnold Schwarzenegger fan, so I know a lot of you are probably thinking I'm crazy for just recently watching the movie. But um, I have to say, after watching it, I really, really enjoy this movie. Uh, I have to say it's definitely in my top ten Arnold Schwarzenegger movies now. And, you know, we're all familiar with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger doing Conan the Barbarian, Conan the Destroyer, the Terminator franchise, you know, um, True Lies, uh, Commando you know, um, you know, The Expendables, you know, movies like that, and I think this is definitely, um, a good movie, uh, that he chose to do, because it's, uh, very well directed, very well written, I like the music, I like the, the scenery of the film, you know, it went at a good pace, um, it's an hour and 51 minutes, but, you know, the, the timing's not an issue. I think it goes by pretty fast, and it's very funny. It's a, you know, a comedy crime movie, and um, the acting's good. Schwarzenegger steals the show, of course, as he always does, and has some pretty good other uh, people in this movie, too. you got Penelope Ann Miller, uh, Pamela Reed, Linda Hunt, Richard Tyson, and Carol Baker. And they all do a very good job in this movie as well. And you also have the little kid from Pet Cemetery, uh, Miko Hughes, um, who played Gage in the original Pet Cemetery. And he also played one of the babies in Baby Geniuses. And he was also Heather Lankenkamp's uh, son, Dylan, who's young in Wes Craven's New Nightmare. And he's a very good child actor, and uh, he's in this movie, and he's... He's very cute, very funny in this movie, and, uh, yeah, he just, like, the scenes with him, like, when he talks, like, when he makes, like, the jokes about, you know, children's body parts, like, that, that is pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie, um, and it's, it's nice to see, you know, Schwarzenegger do, like, a different type of role, and, um, this one, um, I really like the premise, and I like the fact that, you know, he's not really into doing it at first, but then, you know, he ends up doing it anyway, and then he becomes, you know, on board, and he likes to, um, you know, keep the children in line, and teaches them right from wrong, and how to respect, you know, their elders, and stuff like that, and, uh, I'll show you, there's the packaging, here's the side, and here's the back, um, there isn't too much on this, it's just a movie, um, but it's very good. I, I think this might have a Blu-ray release, um, I'm not 100% sure, but I'll have to look it up, or if, if any of you guys know, if you guys have it, let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, th this one, um, is definitely one of my favorites of his now that I've seen it, and... You know, Ivan Reitman, uh, great director, I love his work growing up, you know, he did Ghostbusters 1 and 2, Stripes, Meatballs, um, you know, a whole bunch of other great, great movies, so, I mean, if it's a movie by Ivan Reitman, like, you know, it's gonna be gold, and, you know, like, there was a lot of scenes in this that were very funny, like, when his, uh, friend, when, uh, John's friend, uh, who's a woman who's also a cop, you know, he, you know, walks in on, on her and her boyfriend, you know, like how they just, you know, you could tell that they just, you know, 
Worf, you know, how they recently had sex and, and everything. It's very awkward, and I think that scene was very, very funny. And, you know, there's, like, a lot of great action bits in this movie, and there's uh, quite a bit of gunplay, and, you know, of course he gets to know the teacher that is somehow involved with the criminal that he's trying to nab. Um, that's also very cool and how, how he, like, develops a relationship with her and her son. Um, that was very nice to see. And, you know, you also get to learn uh, more uh, about uh, John's uh, personal life in this movie, which I thought was kind of cool. And, you know, like, I felt like the... Uh, kids were also very well done, like, the kids weren't annoying or anything, um, the kids were very cute, very funny, um, and, uh, it's just all, all around a very fun movie, you know, I've always loved, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's movies, uh, he makes, uh, good movies, and, um, yeah, I would say that this was this was definitely this one's definitely up there with like uh, the Terminator movies, Commando, True Lies, uh, The Last Action Hero, um, you know, the Conan the Barbarian movie, and you know he he's done quite a few good ones. I mean, there's like so many that you can name, but I just named off a few. But this one's definitely one of them in my opinion. And I kind of. After watching, I kind of regret not seeing it sooner, but, I mean, it's better late than never, in my opinion. And it's put out by Universal and Imagine, and, um, yeah, it's just, uh, it's just an amazing, very funny, uh, action movie. And it's great for, um, you know, to watch with family. I mean, probably not for, like, little, little kids, because, like, some of the humor is a bit off color but like for older kids like you know they would definitely like it i think and if you're an Arnold schwarzenegger fan and if you haven't seen it what are you doing it's uh you definitely gotta watch it and also if you're an ivan reitman fan if you haven't seen it you know what are you doing also and you know like it's just uh one of those movies that is very memorable, like, there's, like, memorable, you know, um, scenes and, you know, um, you know, lines of dialogue that are, you know, uh, that are memorable and stuff like that, and, um, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger's accent is always, is always very funny, I think, and I know a lot of people think it's funny also, and, uh, yeah, uh, I'd say that this one is definitely one of his best roles as uh, Detective John Kimball. It's up there with, like, the, the Terminator and, um, you know, all the other movies I've mentioned. Uh, um, he's a very likable character, and he's definitely the best character in the movie. And even, like, the even the bad guys, you know, are even, you know, interesting, too. Um, even, like, those, I'd say the bad guys in here are ones that you enjoy hating, you know, if that makes sense, and at least I did, I don't know about anybody else, but I certainly did, and, uh, yeah, this one, uh, gets a lot of praise for, and I think it deserves every, uh, everything that it gets when it comes to positivity, uh, because it's definitely one of the greatest movies ever made, period, in my honest opinion. And if you haven't seen it, please go see it. There's also a sequel, but I'm not watching it because it's not with Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's with somebody else. It's one of those lame uh, direct-to-video sequels that no one really cares about, so I'm not going to watch it. And hopefully they don't remake this. If they do, then, you know, it's whatever, I guess. But I don't think this movie uh, really needs a remake, in my honest opinion. Like, some people may think it needs one. I personally don't think it needs to have a remake. It holds up perfectly fine. And, like, despite it being 1990, it still holds up. You know, it's a classic comedy crime movie. And everyone should see it at least one time, you know, in my honest opinion. Um... And I'll definitely have to rewatch this one again, um, because it's I had such a good time with this movie, and uh, if it's on Blu-ray for cheap, I'll pick it up, and 
yeah, so if you haven't seen it, if it's on streaming or if you are able to run it or pick it up, uh, definitely do either of those. Um, and I think you'll have a good time with it. It's uh, a lot of fun. So thank you guys so much for watching my review of Kindergarten Cop. And uh, I appreciate all the comments and all the subscribers that are coming. Uh, appreciate every single one of you. And thank you guys so much once again. And I'll see you guys for the next one.